Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and if you fly iNav with the DJI FPV system, this video is something that you just have to watch and you will absolutely not regret the experience. The DJI FPV system is great, however, it's far from perfect because it has at least a few problems. And one of those problems is the OSD, which is, well, how to say it without offending anyone? Um, unsophisticated. Yes, it's there, it offers you some of the elements, but if you compare it with the functions and the amount and then just the OSD that the analog FPV offers you in INAV, you will have to really admit that it's, yes, it's definitely unsophisticated. And until very recently, there was just not a way to even try to add new elements, new pieces of information into the DJI OSD itself. However, with the iNav 2.6, it is possible to fix at least some of those problems. How? By reusing the craft name. The craft name that DJI system actually displays you in the OSD, and, but is it that much useful? Well, it, it's kind of a good question and most probably for majority of the people knowing that this is your craft name is not really that much important however with INAV 2.6 it's possible to inject some interesting data into the craft name and have the elements like for example system messages distance 3d speed or efficiency as part of your craft name how to do it i will show it to you in just a moment the first element of the craft name framework for the dgi in the inf 2.6 and 2.7 and probably a lot of future releases is the setting called dgi use name for messages by default it, this thing is on and without setting absolutely anything the craft name osd element that you can enable input anywhere on your osd in the dgi goggles will display you the messages messages like you cannot arm because there is no x you cannot arm because there is no 3d fix and so on without actually configuring anything only by putting the craft name as the element you have a simple replacement for the much more complex system messages element known from the analog FPV. However, that's not all because you can configure which kind, which types of the informations are injected as the craft name itself. It's all described in the pull request and also by, with limited uh, amount of information in the release notes of the INAV 2.6 in the pull request to which link I just put inside of the description. And then if you start your craft name with the colon and then use one of the letters W, D, S, T or E, you will be able to display D, distance traveled during your flight with the letter W warnings the default behavior, with the letter S your current 3D speed, not the ground speed but the 3D speed including the right, uh, the vertical part of the speed with the letter t current throttle position and with the letter e your current efficiency in the milliwatts per kilometer but that's not really important right now and you can use any combinations of those five letters to set up your information provided by the craft name. Each element will be displayed for three seconds and then it will cycle to another one. So if you have only the craft name with colon W, it will be only system messages, messages actually. If it will be colon W E, then three seconds will be used for the messages three seconds for the efficiency and it will then cycle from the beginning. The most advanced uh, setting uh, for the craft name is right now colon W T D E S, which will just cycle through all available information. 
I don't know about you, but for me, this is one of really the most important changes for the DJI FPV system provided by the iNav ever. Because yes, at one point it was added to iNav, but now with a simple, relatively simple change, you can actually display something that previously was not really possible. Like the messages, like the efficiency, like the 3D speed and like the distance. Maybe in the future releases we will add something new to the list because, well, why not? The last thing you have to do is, of course, you have to enable the craft name OSD element in your DJI goggles. To do it, in the iNav configurator, go to the OSD tab and then select the craft name from the general section and place it anywhere you want to have it on your OSD. That's all. By default, it will show you the system messages, at least some of the system messages, but if you want to piggyback extra information into the craft name, it's possible with if you remember that it has to begin with the colon and then letter W, E, S, T and E or any combination of those with three seconds for each of those elements. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.